it's Charlie, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be filming part two of my bookshelf tour. Um, the first part wasn't very good because of the lighting, so I'm hoping that this book will be a little bit better. If you want me to refilm part one of my bookshelf tour, then let me know down below. Um, and I'll definitely do that because I know it wasn't very good at all. Um, just quickly I want to mention that a few of you are asking me to start a Goodreads account. I have now started one, so I will put the link to it down below. And if you want to come on and follow me or add me as a friend or whatever, then you can do that. Um, yeah, I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing on there yet. I'm still kind of getting used to it, but I really like it. Um, it's a really good way of like finding new books and stuff. So if you haven't got a Goodreads account and um, you like finding new books and hearing what people have to say about books, then definitely start a Goodreads account because it is it's um it's a really fun thing to do. So um, yeah, anyway, on to today's tour. As I said, this is going to be part two. Um, so let's get straight on with it. So the shelves that we're going to be focusing on today are these two shelves. Um, so let's get straight on in with it. So the first book, they're so tightly packed in here, I can never get them out, I'll move that one. Um, so the first book is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Then Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick, obviously as well. And I have got Silence here as well, but I've just taken that off the shelf because it was making it too tight to get them out. But Then I've got The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stassi, which looks really, really good. And I can't wait to read this. It's, it's an amazing cover. Um, I love it. So that's that one. Then I've got Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone by Kat Rosenfield. Rosenfield? Yeah, Rosenfield. Um, Elixir by Hilary Duff. View Against Me by Jenny Downham, which I really want to read soon, actually. Me, Earl and the Dying Girl by Jessie Andrews, which is one of my favourite books of all time. Then I've got Freaks and Revelations by Davida Wills Herwin. Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer's Between the Lines. Um, a Street Cat Named Bob by James Bowen, which is kind of autobiographical about a homeless guy and his cat. Um, then I've got The Woman Who Went to Bed for a Year by Sue Townsend. The Postcard by Tony Abbott. Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. Graveminder by Melissa Marr. Then up there I've just got Mothership by... Hmm, I can't remember who that's by... Martin Leisht and Isla Neal. Then I've got Wild Thorn by Jane Eagland. Slide by Jill Hathaway, which I'm still yet to read. The Trap by Sarah Ray. Haunting Violet by Ale Aleandra Harvey. Mm -hmm. Dead Rules by R.S. Russell Hereafter by Tara Hudson God Save the Queen by Kate Locke um, Slated by Terry Terry The Maze Runner by James Dashner um, And The Scorch Trials which is also by James Dashner and The Death Cure, which is also by James Jasner. So that is the second shelf. Um, where's that book gone? Let me just cut this back up here. Yeah, that's um, my second shelf. And I actually haven't read, like, hardly any of the books on that shelf, which I know is, like, really, really bad, but, yeah. Then on the next shelf, I've got Starters by Lissa Price. Um... Fever by Lauren De no, yeah Lauren De Stefano, and I've also got Wither up here as well. Um, Pigeon English by Stephen Kelman. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Wild Abandon by Joe Dunthorne. My camera battery is actually going to run out. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to try and get through these quickly. The Girl on the Stairs by Louise Welsh. The Autobiography of Jack the Ripper by James Carnock. The Night Circus by Erin Morganson. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, Ghost Girl by Tonya Hurley. Which is about a girl who dies after choking on a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, the Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. Cryer's Cross by Lisa McMahon. Then up here I've got Susan Hills and Mist in the Mirror, The Nightmares by Dan Poblocki, Uncle Montague's Tales of Terror by Chris Priestley, and Tales of Terror from the Tunnel's Mouth by Chris Priestley. Then up here I've got Ali Aliasta by Anne Hallam, The Man in the Picture by Susan Hill, The Stone Child by Dan Poblocki, and Ghosts by Paul Rowland. Then I've got my arc of Splintered here, um, which you guys have seen, and just a little splintered poster, but you guys have seen that already. Uh, where did I get to? Um, Ten by Gretchen McNeil. That's very dark. I don't know if you can see that one. Um, Lockdown Escape from the Furnace by Alexander Gordon Smith, which I really wanted to love, but I didn't, um, which I was quite upset about, actually. Slice of Cherry by Dia Reeves. Uh, but I Love Him by Amanda Grace. Amanda Grace, yeah. Um, Entangled by Cat Clark. Shift by M. Bailey. Cinder by <clears throat> Cinder by Marissa Meyer and The People Next Door by Christopher Ransom. Then I've got The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. Um, well, I've got the first two books in that um, series anyway. Uh, China Mievel's Unlong Done. Rowan the Strange by Julie Hearn. Then I've got my Wake box set. Wake is in my TBR. Um, and just fade and gone in here. Then I've got The Body Finder by Kimberly Durting. And the last Echo by Kimberly Durting. The second one, which I've forgotten what it's called now. Um, uh oh, I've forgotten what it's called. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can't remember what the second book in that series is called, but. Um, it's downstairs. It's downstairs. It's in my down in my TBR pile. Um, so that's it. That is that shelf as well. I hope you enjoyed. So I'm sorry that I've rushed a little bit towards the end, but obviously, as I say, my camera battery is about to go. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you on my next video.